Hello there and welcome back to the paid traffic series. In this video tutorial, I will provide you five steps in creating your first Facebook ads campaign. The first thing you need to do is create your business page, which I've done for the purpose of this tutorial. And my page is called the Big Traffic Fire Sale. So after you've created your business page, what you need to do is go to the right hand side of your page and then you'll notice there's a create adverts option so click there and then you'll be automatically directed to your Facebook adverts manager okay so now as you can see you have to choose your campaign objectives so there are different campaign objectives for which you can choose from that have their own different purposes and outcomes so there's awareness consideration and conversion but for this particular tutorial, I will only be focusing mainly on conversions, which will help you generate leads and promote your products to your prospective clients. So now, the second step that I'm going to take is select my subcategory from conversion. And the one I'm going to select is website conversions. So website conversions will help you generate traffic to your website and get people to take valuable actions on your website or applications such as adding payment information or making a purchase. Next you need to have a campaign name. Let's see, we'll put Big Traffic Fire Sale in this field. And then you can set up your first AdWord account. Now on the left hand side of your page you can see that you've already created your campaign objective which we've set to website conversions earlier on. Now we want to create our new advert account but first you need to fill in the details. Which includes your country, your currency as well as your time zone. Let's set it up according to the United States. So your country is the United States, so you should change this to US dollars. And we're taking Los Angeles as our time zone. Now we're going to head to the advert set. Now press continue. We're directed to the advert set section, which has several subcategories under it, so we'll go through it one by one. The first one is conversion. What's conversion? It's where you choose which site you want to promote, like your website or your app. We're selecting website or messenger. Next, we select a conversion event. What's a conversion event? A conversion event is a method you choose featuring activities going on on your website. So let's click here. When you scroll down, these are all the different methods that you may choose from to describe your website activities. We'll go with View Content. View Content tracks key page views, for example, the number of people who have viewed your product page or your landing page or the articles that you've written. Let's go with this one, View Content. And the different methods of tracking the activities on your website are all generated by your Facebook Pixel. The next step that you need to do in your advert set is identify audience. What you must do next is fill in all the details here, which includes your audience's location, their age, gender, and also language preferences. Now let's see, we only want to advertise to people who only live in this particular location. In this case, they're in the United States. Click on More Detail and it reveals people in North America and South America. Next is Age. The age range is also very important because you would only want your intended audience to visit your page. Gender can be all, men only, or women only. And also your language preferences. In this case, we're only targeting people who speak English. 
The next step is detailed targeting. Detailed targeting is an option that enables you to target a very specific audience. We need to click Browse and you can target people from a certain demographic or interests or behaviors and other categories. Let's click on Interests and you see a wide range of categories you can choose from. Let's say your audience is only interested in business and industry. The most useful part is when they actually list down how many people are interested in that particular category. For instance, advertising has 190 million people, agriculture, architecture. These people also described having interest in this particular category because they've recently liked pages related to architecture. Next, you must identify where you want to place your ads. There are two options, automatic placements and edit placements. This is where Facebook decides where your ads will automatically appear, and they'll be placed in an area where they'll likely perform best. In our case, which is conversions, they'll show up in the Facebook desktop or the mobile feed. For edit placements, you'll want to filter your Facebook appearances. For example, you don't want your Facebook ads to appear on Instagram or Audience Network. So you can opt for edit placements. Now we've reached the final category of the advert set, which is to identify the budget and schedule. Facebook will actually ask you to name the amount of your daily budget. I'd recommend $10 per day because you want to scale small. This is the first time you're advertising with Facebook ads. It's best not to blow your budget and spend beyond your means. So you'd only spend about $70 per week and this is quite reasonable for the placement of your ads. Now we've reached the final stage of setting up your Facebook ads which is the formatting of your advertisements. First thing is to decide how you want your advertisement to look. You can choose carousel or single image or single video or slideshow. Usually we go with carousel where you can create an advert with two or more scrollable images or videos. Next is to choose the images and links for your Facebook ad. For starters, I recommend you manually select your images and links to place in your carousel template. Now if you choose to autofill, Facebook will automatically generate the image for you. Now we must set our text. Let's write sending hordes of visitors to your website. And this will be the text your audience will see in your advert. Next is to select your destination, which is where your audience will be directed after they've clicked on your advert, which could be your website URL or messenger. For now, I want them to go to my website because I want them to be directed to my landing page. As you can see, on the right hand side is a template of how your adverts will look on Facebook. There's the headline and new link description and also the call to action button. There are several call to action options, learn more, contact us, and others. Next is to select an image for your advertisement. So select image, and you can upload any image you like from your image library on your desktop computer. So you click there. and I select this image of traffic lights. Then click Confirm. And your images will appear in your advertisement, so this is what your ad will look like. Now you need to fill in the details of your headline. This is the major headline that will appear on your Facebook ads. 
I've written big traffic fire sale. Then the description of your headline. This should be very, very short and very, very direct and clear so your audience will have a clear idea of what you're trying to promote. I've added how to generate traffic. Your destination URL would be the link off your landing page or website. Then finally is your call to action button which you have to choose from. There are quite a few options. What you select depends on your campaign objectives. I selected the Learn More option because I want people to learn more about what I'm promoting. After that, just place your order and you're done.